with breaking news. And we begin tonight with a live look at some major trouble for the evening commute. This is the Broadway T station where you can see all those people crammed together right now waiting for buses. It is a mess. Train service suspended between the very busy JFK and Broadway T stops because earlier today a red line train car derailed. A fact that was not confirmed by the T until this afternoon. WBZ's Christina Hager is live at Andrew Station right now. And Christina a, truly a nightmare for all those people trying to get home. Really, Lisa, Andrew Station here is the only stop between UMass JFK and Broadway, so there are absolutely no trains running here right now in either direction on the red line. There are a lot of buses, and this morning, a lot of stories about the chaos. Blocks commuters from boarding trains. Hours after this morning's derailment left Andrews Station filled with smoke, as one passenger captured on video. Another, John Orison, took these photos before he got out. There's a large sparks that occurred where the, the back car jumped up in the air. It broke a glass window of the car. It started filling up with smoke. Bus shuttles came in to pick up those who made it off. We had a Broadway in downtown. We spoke with another shaken passenger, Kyle Thomas. The train started kind of bucking off of the track. The window exploded directly across from me. It definitely was showering us with shards of glass, and um, and luckily, you know, I kind of, you know, covered my face. On the tracks, the T's general manager, Luis Ramirez, met with inspectors and repair crews. A statement explained a stretch of approximately 300 feet of third rail is damaged. The train's operator said the engine failed as it approached Andrew Station, and after the last car on a six car train derailed, it rerailed itself. The chaos that followed had hundreds frustrated. I need to get to the, uh, the hospital for an appointment. No train service between JFK and Broadway. Instead, buses. The T's GM saying our team continues to assess the damage and make necessary repairs while working to identify the root cause. After those passengers got off the train, the train was still working well enough to pull out on its own power. It's been taken out of service, though, and is now being inspected as crews try to figure out what went wrong here. At Andrews Station, Christina Hager, WBZ News.